This upgrade to Adagio Inventory version 8.1e now supports automation. When Adagio Console is installed, you'll be able to see from the Edit menu the automation file setup. These automation command files are available for all companies that use Adagio Inventory. When we edit one, you'll see the unique file name and description and the list of commands that will be performed in sequence. There are a number of commands that are common across all Adagio programs, such as running a date integrity check, printing a report set, importing, backup, and some unique to inventory, such as day end, and posting an inventory reconciliation, with nouns and modifiers available for additional information. Other common commands are setting a session date for processing, inserting a comment into the automation log, and either viewing or emailing a PDF of the log after completion. When you want to run an automation, you can do so from the Run button, or from a shortcut, or a window scheduled task. Whichever way you choose, the command will run all of the processes. And if anything fails, the remainder of the automation commands will not be performed. If none of the commands have any errors, then every task in the automation file will be performed in sequence until the end. When complete, the automation is viewed. These commands can be run in combination with other Adagio program automations by creating a batch file in Adagio console. For more complete information about Adagio console and automation, use this link to the Show Me How training video. If either Adagio invoices or order entry is used for customer invoicing of inventory items, and Adagio ePrint is also integrated, then the archive PDF customer copy is available to save additional invoice PDFs for lookup. These are available for viewing within item inquiry. Go to the transaction history tab and load your shipments. If an archive customer PDF is available, Highlighting the shipment in the grid will show a PDF button, and clicking this will bring up the View PDF screen. This PDF is an exact copy of what was sent to the customer. From here you can also view the invoice metadata, resize or reprint. You can also have this View PDF window stay on top of the other windows on the screen. If you select an invoice that doesn't have a PDF, you'll see nothing appears and the PDF button is invisible. Credit notes are supported if a PDF was created. This upgrade has some additional features for master item assembly for both processing and transaction history of component items. If you open the master item assembly function, you'll see that there's a component item grid at the bottom. When you select the master item number and the bill of material number, you'll see that the component items are displayed below. You also see the quantity on hand of the master item across all locations. When you choose a specific location for the build, you'll also see the location on hand for the master item. We'll add in a reference and then we'll build the master item. Master item bill of material information is now stored on the component assembly transactions. If you look at the transaction history, the dictionary now includes the master item and bill of material numbers that can be added to the grid and for reporting. And assembly records will show that master item and bill of material number available, so you know which component items were used in which assemblies. Users of the Adagio Bill of Materials add-on will see even more new features than were previously available. And to see what these are, use this link to the Watch Me Upgrade video for Adagio Bill of Materials.